Welcome to your CCPS Science Review Lab. Okay, I got a science funny for you. What's the relationship between these two pictures? I want you to focus on this part here that the red arrow fo that the red arrow points to within this for this rock formation. And then what do we see out the window over here? Weathering weather ah see what i did there what's the difference between those two keywords obviously the weather are the conditions we see outside dealing with temperature and precipitation meanwhile over here we've got weathering which is a verb and that's the breaking down of this material here in the rock when we're talking about weathering we have two different kinds the first is physical weathering Okay, and that's the process of breaking rocks apart without changing the chemical composition of what they're made of. So over time, maybe the movement of water or wind or ice will break apart rock formations. Okay, and that's physical weathering. So up here we have where water seeps into this rock and then when it freezes, it makes that crack in the rock larger and eventually it splits it. When we've got this water running across these rocks in this stream, little by little, it's breaking them down. Again, that's physical weathering. This tree is kind of come up it probably started off as a little sapling inside a crack in this rock and as the tree has grown and grown and grown it split the rock again that's physical weathering we've also got chemical weathering that's when the rocks themselves are broken down or disintegrated because of chemical reactions so we may still be dealing with water but it's changing the chemical that the rock is made of so it may um let's take a look at this one in this case you've got this rock being broken down by water and it's not wearing it away it's changing the chemical composition similar to what would happen in limestone Do you remember when we broke down limestone with water and we can have it with acids or even organisms change can change the chemical composition of rocks so that's chemical weathering if you're ending up with something different than what you started with that's the case that's how you know that there's a chemical weathering situation going on now let's give you a shot to show what you know this picture shows two different rock formations which one do you think is an example of physical weathering so you're going to look at the two images and decide which one you think is a example of physical weathering and then i want you to defend your answer show what you know good luck